left, Jess on his right. Hey, hold up, don't start a fight. He's got you covered with all the sports. Don't fret, he's wearing shorts. It's time for Waking Jake in the morning. Waking Jake at night. Jake sucks. Ooh. Ooh. Talking Jake coming at you with his white ass poodle. How's everybody doing this morning? Ah, oh, Wednesday. Early Magic and Two in the chat. I like that. Huge sports day yesterday, BBD. We are still rolling in the sports world. How's everybody doing today? Good morning. We got people live in the chat. We got people liking. We got people commenting. We are at 168 reviews on iTunes, BBD. So I don't know... One more of you right now. I don't want to step on your territory. I don't, BBD might beat you to that review, but if somebody wants to be lucky, 169, we appreciate you guys. How's everyone doing? Let's get into it. Let's get into the sports, man, because it was a great night. Both NBA one seeds go down. We will talk about that in a little bit. But first, the game of the night last night comes from baseball, and we're heading to Minnesota, huh? How about Kenta Maeda? One, two, three, Maeda's. My guy is dealing last night, giving up very few hits. In fact, BBD, no hits through eight. Maeda, he had two walks. He was shoving, though, 12 strikeouts, 12 punchies by Maeda. The Twins, they put together a little bit of a, a rally. In the bottom of the eighth, they scored one run. They make it 3-0. Earlier in the game, you got a Sano RBI double. Jorge Polanco, my friend, Miguel Sano, sat next to him at spring training. Some of the biggest legs I've ever seen on a human. Um, so it's 3-0 twins. We're going into the ninth with a no-no, baby. Kenta Maeda, pitch count's up there. I think he was at 112, 113, something like that. He gives up a bloop single, which, uh, do you think Polanco could have caught it? I mean, it was possible. It's not an easy play. Probably 50-50. The scouting report was, if he's positioned one foot, yeah. the, either way, you get the better angle I guess, or you're right under it. I don't know. In, in my head, it's 50-50. It just went live on the YouTube Tight. screen for all the YouTubes. It's tough, but the no-hitter goes away. And then, BBD, we enter to one of my favorite worlds in baseball because this doesn't happen in any other sport, really. There's no equivalent to this. I mean, I guess, I guess in football, if you're getting shut out and it's – 10 nothing or 7-3, and then a team has a pick six or something. I guess that's the only equivalent. But now we've got a ball game. Keston Hura. This city needs a hero in a Hura. RBI single, it's 3-1. to one. Jed Jerko, our guy, fielder's choice. Not so great, Jed. But we've got an error, throwing error, and it's locked up at threes. And just like that, we went from no hitter in the ninth to tie ball game. We're going extras. Nobody's scoring. Nobody's scoring. We there is an Oswaldo Arcia. Orlando Arcia. I always want to call him Oswaldo. That's a more fun name, I guess. Orlando Arcia hits a line drive that gets snagged. Uh Kepler diving catch throws it in. The twins end up winning this one four to three in the twelfth. Polanco with the ground out. They come home with it, beats the throw. Wow, uh, a lot of fun for Minnesota. And again, I think the the thing for me is, you know, obviously a lot of baseball here at John Boy Media, but man, 12 innings, no hitter, almost turned into a loss instantly. That's always, if you've ever watched someone with a no hitter into the sixth or seventh and it's still a close game, that next batter, you're like, okay, they're basically going yard. Like, you almost assume that things have gone so much the pitcher's way that now everything is going to turn. So, good for the Twins for getting the win. Good for Maeda, man. Two two seven ERA on the year for him. He was a really underrated piece in the Mookie Betts trade. 
he's on a very team friendly contract. He's uh and when he shoves, he shoves. I mean, he could there's a world where he's Minnesota's one going into a playoff series. And I mean, again, it's it's not as dominant as you'd like to see if you're a Twins fan, but Maeda, Barrios, Odorizzi, you're perfectly fine with any or all those guys being part of your playoff yeah. rotation. Yeah. I I mean, you'd so, like well, one guy to step up and be a one or go get a guy whatever. Yeah. But, I wonder, they're all good. I wonder if it's recent, but Rodgers, the Minnesota closer, I wonder if they're starting to get nervous about him. A uh, couple Matt outings. Again, there was an error in there late, so probably not. But, uh, yeah, good for the Twins. That was the game of the night. MLB Twitter was getting excited for me. A no hit into the ninth. It doesn't happen because it's tough to do. And with that, BBD, good morning to all the Wake and Bakers. That was the game of the night. Hope everybody's doing good. YouTube, Periscope, podcast app. Like I said, 168 reviews. I don't know if 169's in. I saw BBD run out of the room briefly. It could have been to leave that 169 review. I've got WAP or WAP stuck in my head today, so that's scary. Because if you add that to the mix in there, it's dangerous. Yeah, that's not good. So let's do the baseball games, and then we'll catch up a little more. Let's go. Ah, we just lost the perfect game. 56 to 1. The likes in the YouTube. In the baseball today, yesterday, the Rays beat the Yankees 6 3. Tanaka didn't really have it. Brandon now like Lau. Brandon Lau like now, I guess you would say. He hits a three run homer. He almost hit a pair. Uh, he hit another one about 405 feet. Uh,. And, yeah, the Yankees showed a little fight. They had a bases-loaded rally. They couldn't get it done against the Rays' pen. Uh, Snell looks solid. Yanks got to him at the end of his day. But Rays take the first one. Uh, that's probably going to be the game of the night coming up. I mean, Garrett Cole, Tyler Glass now. Yanks trying to bounce back. Mets, eight. Marlins, three. How about a couple wins for the Mets? Uh, Brandon Nimmo, three for five with a homer and a triple. That's a good time. Philly sucks. Oh, my God. This looked like normal baseball until it was not normal baseball. My Bryce Homer, my Bryce Homer, Bryce Harper homers for me in the Homer draft, trying to get too much out there. Uh, Philly puts up seven runs in the six. The finals 13 to six. These bullpen slash pitching staffs are horrendous. Uh, good for the Phillies offense. The Phillies offense is doing their job. I was in the numbers the other day. I think they're like number one or two in baseball in OPS. Nats eight, Braves five, Freddie Freeman with a homer. Robles with the big home run rob. That was probably one of the best clips of the night going around baseball yesterday. Uh, good for the Nats. They get a dub. Jays eight, oh seven. Travis Shaw scores on a 10th inning throwing error. Nice, Travis Shaw. Uh, Jays get a couple wins in a row And our, the or- Orioles fans gotta be getting nervous The The carpet is coming out below you uh, So that's I guess that's a sneaky fun game In the Central, the Indians 6-3 to three. In the 10th, Carlos Santana 5 RBI game He hits a 3-run yacker In the 10th to give them The 6-3 c- to three win Indians are 4-0 and oh Since the Clevenger police sack situation Keep an eye on that Tigers 4, White Sox 10. Tim Anderson continues to rake. He led off the game with a home run. Great call by Jason Benetti, the White Sox play-by-play guy. He found out that uh, Tim Anderson's family, whenever dad hits a home run, they have spaghetti. And so right as he was saying, that Tim Anderson went yard. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Scoobal, big prospect for the Tigers gets knocked around a little bit, and they've got their other guy going today, the the top pick, blanking on his name. Sorry, Tigers fans. Casey Mize. Casey Mize, yes, 2018 first pick. Brewers, Twins, we did that. Cardinals, Cubs, Cubs, six. Cardinals, three. Ian Happ has been raking. I got in his stats the other day. He got the talking baseball bump a little bit. That's not true, but he's looked really good. I think... From the right side, they wanted to see him improve this year, and his numbers are really good from there. And you, Darvish, continues his dick-dropping tour. It's official. It's happening. In the West, the Astros 2, Rockies 1. Back-to-back 2-1 to one losses by the Rockies to the Astros. The Astros are the team that derailed the Rockies' season last year. Uh, Granke and Senzatella both go 8 shutout, so that's a lot of fun. Both score 1 in the 10th. 
And then the Astros win on a mile straw walk off. If you're the Rockies, you are kicking yourself. You had two really good chances to win. And again, this is the two and two. So they played two in Houston. They're going to Colorado tonight. So if you're the Rockies, uh, you gotta you gotta get get them at home. Padres six, Rangers four. Will Myers with a grand slam in the first inning. Fernando Tatis Jr., the star of stars. He steals third base, up six. Uh, off Gibo, the guy that threw at Machado after him. Uh, uh, did he get him? I, I feel like we posted the replay of that on Talking Baseball. Kyle seemed confident that Todd Frazier tagged him out. Who cares? Give him this. I, I didn't see yeah. it super close. I watched the replay once, watched the slow mo once. Looked like he got it. Yeah, it's probably the if they had called it that way, they couldn't overturn couldn't it. Couldn't overturn yeah, it. Yeah, and that's what was going on. But Padres win 6 4. Uh, Padres manager Jace Tingler walked it back a little bit before the game, and this might just push Tatis further into God mode. Like, keep going, kid. A's won D-backs 10. Big win for the D-backs. Uh, they went up 9-1 after two innings. Uh, Nick Ahmed with a big game. UConn, BBD. Did you know that? How about that? Didn't know that. Defensive-minded shortstop. He has a big offensive game. Cole Calhoun's been getting it going with the stick. And Luke Weaver, for them, had been getting touched up. Um, he has a nice start. Montes, supposed to be the A's ace, gets really roughed up. Mariners won, Dodgers two. I guess tough for all our Man- Mariners fans. Marco Gonzalez, Tony Gonsolin, the big G-O-Ns. Nice starts, I guess. Corey Seager, RBI single. Uh, Seven-game win streak for the Dodgers. They are rolling. And that's kind of the update from around baseball. BBD, what, uh, what did I miss? What else needs to be said? Uh, Dylan Bundy got roughed up a little bit. He not did. A, not at the worst start ever, but happy for you. Yeah, I don't know. Again, like, don't. He's still having an incredible year. If yeah, things four do, innings, four runs, isn't. If things do start to go downhill, you will start to see my feathers come out a little bit. Um, just an FYI. Again, if he helps Mike Trout, I'm in on Bundy. But if he starts stinking, you yes, yeah, stinky. You better stink. Um, I'm trying to think. Maeda was the story last night. The Phillies started going nut job. Phillies are up to 500. That's pretty impressive for having the worst bullpen ever. Yep. Mets get a couple win. Cleveland's rolling. All right, that's the baseball. I think it's time for some playoff basketball, BBD. And I don't think any of these games were great, but I do think the storylines are awesome. Um, so in the basketball last night, da bobble, da bobble, da bobble. The Magic beat the Bucks. Vooch, Nikola Vucevic. Gonna hear about him in a minute. Gonna hear about him right now, too. 35 and 14. Uh, doesn't get talked a lot because centers are dying and he plays in Orlando. He's kind of a monster. Uh, Giannis, 31 and 17 and 7. It was one of those classic games. The Magic were up, and you're like, okay, the Bucks are going to turn it on. The Bucks are going to turn it on. I think they got within four or five in the fourth, and it was like, okay, ten minutes left. Here we go. I saw it was a decent gap, but certainly attainable with, like, six to go. Magic. And I didn't find out until I got home. They didn't do it. I'm yeah. Like, oh, Magic. Exactly. That's what it was. Magic. Like, you stopped checking your phone. Like, you just assumed it was going to happen. It doesn't happen. Bucks lose game one, 122 to 110. Um, expect them to bounce back, but definitely, definitely a shocker. Heat Pacers, Heat win 113 to 101. Jimmy Buckets, love Jimmy Butler, 28 points. TJ Warren gets 22 and 8. Good for him. I think this is his first playoff series. I might have dreamed that. Uh, Miami, Miami with the big fourth quarter, 32 21. Um, I like the Heat big in that series. Oladipo only played nine minutes. He's not right for Indiana. That's starting to feel like one of those, like, do you even run him out there? Because if you're going to only play Oladipo nine minutes. I think now he's got an eye thing. Okay. So something about yeah. I, think got, I think he got poked. Pacers, uh, politely call it. The Rockets roll up on the Thunder, 123-108. I'm, a couple of janky takes came through last night. I, I mean, Harden and the Rockets are going to shoot threes and get buckets. Like, James Harden gets 37 and 11, 11 rebounds, not 11 assists. Uh, something I like from this box score, BBD, I think there was six Rockets that had three or more assists. I like that. So, 
they just pass to an open shooter. And all of their guys can shoot. That's just what they do. So that's what I was saying with the Westbrook loss. I don't think it affects them that much. Not in the first round. And I don't, yeah, and that, maybe that's the better point. It may be in the first round. We'll see. I guess they have a, I guess OKC's okay, technically a very close matchup. Yeah, I mean, Chris Paul just misses the triple double. It's one game. Danilo had a pretty good game, so that is what it is. And then Blazers, Jakey takes people. That's why you're coming here. That's why you're hitting the like button. That's why you're leaving a comment. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Blazers 100, Lakers 93, Dame time. Dick dropping tour, big time BVD. Good note. 34, 5, and 5. LeBron, 23, 17, and 16. Jeez. Mello, 11, and 10? I'll take that. I'll take that all day. AD, 28, and 11. Kuzma, 14, and 8. That's kind of what you expect for him. KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope, who I've been on a pretty big, he's not good tour for his career in the NBA. And Danny Green, who has been solid and good. 4 for 21, 2 of 13 for 3. Yep, that's the difference in this game. If they, you know, if they're eight for twenty-one, Lakers probably win this one. Pretty if they easily. shoot between what they did shoot and what they normally shoot, not yeah. asking for them to do what they right, normally right, right. do, just between there. Yeah, I mean, they, they each hit pretty easy. If they, you start doing the turkey math in your head. If they each hit one more three, I mean, it's basically an even game. Whatever, uh, Blazers get the win, and this is all I was saying. I wanted to see this matchup. Uh, Dame time gets going. They're still teams are playing that ridiculous defense against Dame, where they just double him at midcourt, so the Blazers can get an open three whenever they want. Like I don't think you can just do that. It's not working. I don't know. It's not working on Dame. He's I don't. Just yeah, right. The shots. He's still getting his bucket. So that's what happened in the NBA. Uh, BBD and anything of note that I did not mention there. Lord's so good. People, mm. obviously, this is one of the tighter 1 8 matchups you would expect because the Blazers were so hot and they do have Damian Lillard, who's like, you know, basketball best player can carry you. Uh, but, it, I mean, LeBron's teams like lose game ones pretty often. Yeah. Not in the first round as much, but I wouldn't be panicking if I'm like the Lakers. There's no panic. Uh, next game, Win just the next be- one. Next but- game just becomes a little more serious. Like, if you're Danny Green or KCP or J.R. Smith or Deion Waiters, like, whoever else is out there with them, y- you better get a dub because otherwise things will get loud in that bubble and things echo in the bubble, BBD. You know that. It's like yelling into a canyon. Uh, hockey comment in the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Like, is something of note from hockey? Like, did anything hit your timeline from hockey yesterday? Saw some pictures from press conferences, I think, but I don't know what happened in the game or why that would have been interesting. Looks like Vegas won a close one. Dallas did. The Caps did. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. It's the just finals. not on my radar. We'll do the conference finals. We'll get into it a little bit. That's all I got for now. Um, anything? Any other sports? We got our sports thing. I don't think so. Uh, let's go do the comment of the day before we get into bro of the night. Comment of the day, I always encourage you guys, interact with me. Tweet at me, talking Jay. Tweet at BBD. He does a lot of the producing. Leave something in the comments. I like picking the best comment of the game. Comment of the game. Comment of the day because uh, you guys participate a lot, and it helps to the show. It adds to the show. Uh, yesterday's comments are a lot about the Tati situation, and that's obvious, uh, as they should be. So is the show. I kind of like this one, BBD. <laughs> Sometimes non-humor is the best humor uh, Atticus Kaiser left the comment yesterday I'd like to see you, John Boy, and Ploof Talk about the Tatis bomb And hear all your thoughts on it I've got fantastic news for you <laughs> Go check out the new episode of Talking Baseball uh, We did that It's out today So that's huge news uh, Very straightforward uh, and then yeah, we we've got some of the usual stuff again. A lot of a lot of Tatis comments. A lot of people baking the algorithm. That's what we're doing here. Uh, thank you guys so much. Yesterday's episode hit 10k on YouTube only. On YouTube only, that's like the big day. That's the top and out. So we appreciate you guys. And yeah, let's keep it rolling, baby. Let's keep it rolling. 
And before we get into bro of the night, Wake and Jakers, I've got good news for you. First Wake and Jake ad, it's brought to you by DraftKings. DraftKings is the leader in one-day fantasy sports. They're celebrating the return of sports by giving away up to $100 million in prizes. Guys, go get $100 million. Simple as that. To claim your share of $100 million in instant giveaways, all you have to do, download the app, sign up using promo code JOHNBOY. DraftKings is doing the free football survivor pool. Go check it out. I think we might sign up. They're telling us to do that. While the top prize is reserved for one lucky winner, everyone who signs up enters DraftKings free football survivor pool and will receive an instant bonus prize of at least $5. How about that? How about that? Don't forget to check out all the great daily fantasy contests DraftKings is hosting for this week's basketball and golf. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code JOHNBOY to claim your share of $100 million instant giveaways and put yourself in the running for $1 million. $1 million cash top prize. Got it. Promo code John Boy only at DraftKings. And guys, if you don't like an ad read, I'm sorry. But that helps us do all this. That helps us give you guys more content. So go check out DraftKings. They've been really cool to us. Go check that out. Bro of the night, BBD. Mine is going to Vooch. Nikola. Nikola Vucevic, man. I'm so mad at Bobby Skinner. He he told me that the Magic were the fourth best team in the East. I said that's the dumbest thing you've ever said. I didn't say that verbatim. But uh, Orlando kind of stunk in the bubble, and then they come out, and they clip the Bucks game one, man. And, again, this might be a deep – if you're an NBA fan, you know who Vucevic is. Um, I think he's been an all – he's a one-time all-star – you know, he kind of gets his the past couple years. He's averaged 20 and 11. You know, that's really good. He's a good NBA center, but centers are kind of dying. You know, not a guy with much on the defensive end. I will say this. He's starting to stretch his game out for three. Uh, he took 4.7 three-point attempts this year. So uh, he's stretching it out. He, uh, I think he's a free agent this year, BBD. Did I dream that or did he get paid? I know he got a big contract. I don't know okay. if there's an option or something this year. So, so showed up a couple years ago and was just like a different player, able, capable of shooting, and yeah. then just doing everything else like another step up. He just kind of showed up. I think two years ago doing that. And I mean, cool. twenty and eleven is no joke. He, uh, you know, look at the other guys on that Magic team. I mean, the only other guys that really jump out to you is like Aaron Gordon, but he averaged 14 and a half points per game this year. Like, Vooch led this team in scoring, rebounds. He was, I think he was fourth in assists, something like that. So they beat the Bucks. He's a guy, if you're in NBA circles, you should know. Um, and man, it, he deserves some love. He deserves some love. Vooch had a big night. I was going to say he outplayed. Giannis, but kind of not, and that's not really how it works. But the Magic beat the Bucks. Almost everyone had that series as a sweep. So good job, man. Good job. BBD, who's your bro of the night? Can't do Lillard. Can't do Lillard again. Can't I know. do I know. It's good. Guy can't almost threw a no-hitter. And, like, as dominant a no-hitter as you get. Can't do Lillard. Can't do Lillard. Paul Buffano. We, uh, yeah, I mean, do we just start doing a Lillard s- section? The Lillard check-in? The baseball, the basketball, Damian Lillard. Dame time. Just play one of his songs, too. I guess we could do that. Pretty talented guy. Might have me beat. Yeah. Might have me beat. Um, I'd switch lives. Can you imagine what he does in just, like, an open gym? He had another half-court pull-up yesterday. Back foot on the logo. <laughs> it's just silly, man. Double cover. Uh, so, yeah, so my Ada gets it, but Lillard also <laughs> half gets it. Um, Maeda, good for him, man. I didn't know he had 12 punches. I didn't, I didn't check the box score on that. That's pretty good. That's a big day. Uh, what are we watching tonight, BBD? I'll be honest with the people. Uh, it's Yanks. I mean, that's what I watched last night. Yesterday was my tired night uh, because we recorded the night before that, and then we got in early. So I watched Yanks, and I pretty much tapped out. Um, just being honest with the folks. Caught up this morning. Uh, Yankees Rays. Uh, if you're looking for a good baseball game, I know we're always going to be there. But uh, the Rays punch the Yankees in the mouth. I think Class now Cole again. They are now 4-1 uh, and one against the Yankees this year. Quick math in my head. Cause, That's right. Yeah. Uh, Cole versus Glass now tonight. I mean, Glass now. Every pitcher's goal is to become Garrett Cole. Um, Glass now has the talent to do it. He's been getting knocked around this year. Um, and yeah, this is kind of the first Yankees game where it's like, 
All right. Yeah. It's like, actually, please win. Let's get a win Not tonight. just because I'd always prefer that. Let's not because... lose the series at home because the Yankees have that home winning streak going, so they could lose that tonight. Cole has his starting streak without losing, 20 starts or something like that, something insane. Whatever the number is. So... Yeah, this is kind of a big one for the Yankees. So I'm I'm excited for that. It should be good baseball. Be cool if the Yankees could punch Glass now in the mouth again because his season would be like fully derailed. Um, and that's you know a guy that should be a big weapon for them. So interested to see that. Uh, should should be a good baseball game. BBD. Anything else on the radar? Got a few things circled. Mm. Uh, the back three NBA games all worth watching. If you if you got a flip time. You're working from home, have that on the background. They'll all be worthwhile. Uh, Tigers White Sox, Casey Mize debut. Tigers are down to nine and twelve. So if they actually want to try, a win would be nice. I don't think they're trying, but if they were ever gonna have a must win, it's kinda now. And Casey Mize was the number one pick. So yeah, that's Casey cool. Mize is cool. Padres Rangers, that series has been the talk of baseball, and it's Lance Lynn versus Chris Paddock today. Yeah. And Jack Flaherty's making his second start of the year. Jack Flaherty, our guy, returns. That is nice. Lynn Paddock is fun. Man, Paddock has been running against everyone's number one pitcher. That's that's kind of crazy. Casey Mize is cool. Hopefully he's up to it. Tigers are falling apart. And uh, you know what? Someone in the chat mentioned uh, Anthony Santander, Santander for the Orioles. I think he had two yesterday. He's having a great year. He deserves to be mentioned. We're a sports show. He deserves a shout-out. But Orioles got to win again. Because Blue Jays just took two from you. And that's another team with offense that we're worried about their pitching. So don't let the Blue Jays catch you. Um, I think they're now within a game. Going to be another great night for sports. The baseball is there. NBA playoffs literally every minute after lunch. P- keep enjoying the sports. Keep enjoying the sports. <laughs> nice outro, Jake. Thank you, guys. We are waking, Jaking. Bake the algorithm. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Hey, tell a friend. That's the big thing, baby. Tell a friend. Thank you, guys. We got JJR coming up next. Morning just happened. Talking Yanks. Wake. Wake and Jake. That's this show. Mansplain Baseball Pop. Okay. Go check that out. Talking Baseball. Talking Giants. Love you guys. Bake the algorithm. Share with a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow. Wake and Jake in the morning. My golf game is tight. Jake sucks.